You may have seen this circulating on the internet before. Hold on a bit. Some of my favorite stories have always been those that distinguish themselves from the norm, whether it be through heartfelt characters, super riveting plot lines, or the best animation and world building that the medium can bring. And so it's my pleasure to delve into one of my favorite examples of comedic anime and manga, Keiichi Arawi's series Nichijou, and dissect what makes this insanely absurd humor so damn funny to watch slash read. This video is for both people who have consumed the series already and newcomers. And to anyone thinking that this is just another Moe blob, I can assure you that this is far from the case. So let's dive into what makes this series so hilariously memorable, starting with the premise. Nichijou is essentially about classmates Yuko, Mio, and Mai, who alongside other members of their suburban Japanese community, experience many crazy occurrences and strange phenomena, throughout their everyday lives. This is including but not limited to the principal wrestling deer, being bit by a dog, helping your friend finish that yaoi manga, and drinking milk. I first got into Nichijou as a quick read before bed. I needed something light, easy to consume, and thought it would be a pretty good fit for that since, well, it quite literally does translate to every day, implying that at least some level of normality exists. And it did work well for a while, I mean, the story was fun, but to be honest, it wasn't till about Volume 3 of the manga that the humor really clicked for me. Volumes 1 and 2 were good, but I will admit the super slapstick, overblown, and exaggerated humor isn't going to hit everyone the same. Some will love it, and some will inevitably turn the other way because it's just not their thing. And I get why. As one of the initially more skeptical crowd, I can proudly say this series really surprised me. It was originally just supposed to be reading material to get me tired before bed, but by volume 5 I had to stop reading it at night because it was making me laugh too much and waking up everyone else in the house. And if I were to explain to you why Nichijou is funny, I think it can ultimately be broken up into a few things that the series excels at. The first thing is the density of the jokes. If you've read or watched Nichijou, then you'll know that it has a lot of gags, right from the start of each vignette till the credits roll. What this does is give a ton of variety to the audience. If one joke doesn't land, then another will be right around the corner waiting, ready to fire at the next moment. For example, take this one sequence where Mio is trying to get her friends to help her with her yaoi doujin, as I mentioned earlier. Alawi fires several jokes at us in the confines of just a few pages. From Yuko spilling ink, to Mai's hilarious redraws, to Mio's sanity slowly drying up. It's really fun to read and a joy to watch as well. Another thing that makes Nichijo so funny at points is that from the point of view of the characters, every low stakes situation, and I mean like every situation, is completely smacked through the roof. So that even insignificant events are depicted as these massively absurd, hilarious, and overblown messes. And in this format of beautiful exaggeration, the root of the humor comes largely from the amount of relatability it harbors with the audience. Everyone has probably experienced not wanting to do their homework, ordering coffee at a shishi new place where all the sizes are written in American shrink-wrapped versions of Italian. I've been in situations where I try to get friends to help me with my drawings but to no avail, and I'm guessing a few of us have also been bitten by dogs as well. The manga makes these situations really funny, and so does the anime. And with that, it's important to consider the main differences and why both work so well in their respective mediums. For the manga, Arawi didn't have a soundtrack or voice acting or animation, but I think in hindsight it doesn't really hinder the comedy one bit. For one, he's able to use the page turn to its fullest extent, like the scene in Volume 5 where Yuko and Mio are bitten by Mai's dogs. You're anticipating something and then BOOM, page turn and the world blows up. Other great scenes like the unlucky shrine and Yuko losing her wallet have this sort of hilarious dead and offbeat tone where the silence of the manga enhances the feelings of the characters. There's all this action going on in the panels, but the characters just look so comatose, emotionless, and dead in the face, I honestly had to just reread it again because it was so funny. And of course, things get great with the anime adaption as well. The voice acting is superb, particularly in any scene where characters are yelling. You can feel their vocal cords ripping through the mic to the extent that I was wondering if they still actually had voices after mic day. 
With Yuji Nomi's scrumptious orchestral smooth soundtrack, you get this really fun and tranquil background music that helps to tie everything together and all at once be normal and beautifully absurd at the same time. I don't think they could have gone with anyone better to score the show, honestly. I loved the stuff Nomi did in Whisper of the Heart and the Cat Returns, and I feel just as strongly about his work here. Anyway, the anime excels at any scene where a lot of animation was needed to enhance the jokes. Nichijo pulls from a lot of relatable humor, but also has some really random and WTF kind of humor too that works really well with the show's themes. And carrying these are the incredible variations of different animation styles used in certain sequences of the show. Just to uh, check out some of this stuff, it's absolutely mental. So Nichijo's story is nonsensical and relatable at the same time. Its characters are realistic, but also absurd and handle every little situation as if it were life and death. And at its core, I love what this series does. It often makes fun of tired anime tropes and bends satirical comedy to the point that the humor in the show has become its own kind of genre. And if I saw another work that was similar, I could say, hey, that reminds me of Nichijo. I've recently started City, Arawi's newest series, and I enjoy it. Though maybe it's just me, but it does feel a little bit more grounded than his previous work. Not a bad thing though, just a bit different. But in any case, what do you think of this series? I'd love to know. But as always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.